uh, before we we get into this word, I want to say it wasn't easy being a prophet. And most of the messages they had to give were very unpleasant to hear. It's going to be kind of sort of like this message. They preach of repentance, judgment, impending destruction, sin, and in general, how displeased God was over the behavior of his people. Mm. Prophets were not the most popular people in town mm -hmm. unless they were false prophets mm -hmm. and Come said just what the people wanted to hear. Amen. You know, uh -huh. that itching ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But popularity was not the bottom line for true prophets of God. It was obedience mm -hmm. to God and faithfully proclaiming his word. Isaiah is a good example of a faithful prophet. And God has words for us to proclaim as well. And although his messages are loaded with good news, there is also bad news to give. So may we like true prophets faithfully deliver all God's words regardless of their popularity or lack of it. Amen? Amen. If you have your Bibles, if you would turn with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 1. I want to look at verses 10 through 15. Amen. Amen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1. We'll read verses 10 through 15. Mm -hmm. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of well-fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required of you this trampling of my courts? Bring no more vain offerings. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and the calling of convocations. I cannot endure iniquity and solemn assembly. Your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. This is the word of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to speak to you from the subject of when God no longer hears thoughts and prayers. Amen. When God no longer hears thoughts and prayers. Las Vegas, 
Orlando, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook Elementary, Sutherland Springs, Texas, Colleen, Texas, El Paso, Texas, Rob Elementary, Uvalde, Texas, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Columbine mm. High School, Tree of Life Synagogue, Santa Fe High School, Boulder, Colorado, mm -hmm. Buffalo, New York, Greenwood Park Mall, Greenwood, Indiana, all of the above mentioned and many hundreds more are all scenes of mass shootings. Yes. <clears throat> there has been 38 school shootings in the United States last year in 2023 alone. alone. And this year, there has been eight mass shootings mm -hmm. since the beginning of this year in which 20 people have either been injured mm -hmm. or killed. Mm -hmm. The United States population comprises four and a quarter percent of the world's population, and yet has the dubious distinction of 30% of the world's mass shootings. Mm -hmm. More than any civilized society in the entire world, each time one of these atrocities occur, we can wait for the canned speeches and wearisome incantations from self-righteous Republicans and Starbucks latte drinking liberal Democrats saying we send our thoughts and prayers. But thoughts and prayers seem hollow and hypocritical when school zones become war zones. Thoughts and prayers seem inadequate and insufficient when we make more of the rights guaranteed by the Second Amendment mm -hmm. than we do the rights of second graders. Amen. The National Rifle Association meeting in downtown Houston, Texas at the George R. Brown Convention Center being spurred on by the chief liar and conspiracy theorists in chief, Donald Trump himself, are obfuscating America's sick obsession with guns and violence by tossing these red herrings. They are trying to throw us off the scent Amen. by telling us that the problem in this country is the removal of God from public school. The problem, they say, is the decline of two-parent households. Mm -hmm. They say the problem is a perceived leniency towards criminals. Mm -hmm. They espouse the view that the problem is social media, and for good measure, they stigmatize the mentally ill. Mm -hmm. Come on, I have a retort for their patent idiotic statement, guns don't kill people, people kill people. <laughs> My response to that is, guns don't kill people. People kill people, but people kill people with guns. Amen. Speak on it. Dr. Jeffrey Frum, a Canadian-American political commentator and a former speechwriter for President George W. Bush, who is currently a senior editor at The Atlantic magazine, as well as an MSNBC contributor, wrote that thoughts and prayers began as a cliche. It has become a joke. It has putrefied into a national disgrace. This afternoon, brothers and sisters, I say away with thoughts and prayers, and we, the people of the United States, demand laws and policies. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, hear me. This country is headed down militaristic stairwells and the halls of thermonuclear destruction yes. because we put more money mm -hmm. into bombs and bullets Come on now. than we do 
into the high schools and elementary schools Amen. of this country. And we have turned this culture of ours into a violent culture of people who have turned against one another. God says, when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, no rain, or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Righteousness yes. exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to many people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Isaiah, Isaiah sets the tone for us this afternoon. And he sets the tone for these United States of America, who is on every corner intoning thoughts and prayers and do hypocritical things against the very thoughts they are praying about. Amen. The bitter, the bitter tone of the oracle in Isaiah, the, 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 the bitter tone of the oracle in Isaiah is set in the beginning of this passage. In causal similarity, Israel is almost like Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Sodom and Gomorrah, you remember, were two cities that God completely destroyed for their wickedness. <laughs> On the deeper, more important spiritual level, Israel is Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. In causal similarity, America is almost like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, no. And on the deeper, more spiritual level, America is Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. And God. if the Lord does not judge America, he owes an apology to Sodom and Gomorrah because every form of evil that can be imagined goes on in this country. Amen. Amen. The Bible says every imagination, every wicked thing that's in the heart of man, every inconceivable thing in the book of Genesis, it says everything that they could imagine that was evil, they put their hands to it. Amen. But hear me, brothers and sisters. With their hypocritical rituals and their empty ceremonies, they are trying to replace character attitudes and relationships. They are trying to make the sacrifice do what God wants to be done in the heart. Mm -hmm. The sacrificial system in the Old Testament was not given for the purpose of procuring God's favor but as a means where by those who have accepted God's grace and are keeping the commandment and enjoying the presence of God may continue to do so in spite of their unintentionally falling short of the glory of God. And we all know we fall short Amen. of the glory of God. And so what they, they thought if they would just bring a ram or a bullock, if they would just make a blood oblation, God would be pleased. That's what they thought. But God was unhappy with their sacrifices. But he was not revoking the system of sacrifices he had initiated with Moses. These verses that we read highlight the hypocrisy of the people's worship. Isaiah, like prophets, like other prophets who comment on sacrificial practices, recognizes that God, God's appointed the system of worship, and authorized the central sanctuary. But these ordinances were always intended to foster true piety mm -hmm. among God's people, which would move them to humble purity of heart and energetic promotion of others' well-being. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Isaiah denounces the way his contemporaries have divorced the ordinances from their proper purpose. The leaders were carefully making traditional sacrifices and offerings at holy celebrations, but they were still unfaithful to God in their hearts. Wow. Amen? Amen? See, God looks at the heart. 
sacrifices were to be an outward sign of their inward faith in God. But outward signs became empty because no inward faith even existed. And like many people today, like many people today, they had come to place more faith in the rituals of their religion than in the God they worship. Amen. God does not take pleasure mm -hmm. in our outward expressions if our inward faith is missing. Yeah. Because God looks at the heart. Yes. And it seems that they treated this worship as a way of manipulating God. Come on now. Come Amen. On. Amen. Yes. They, 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 they treat it as a way to manipulate God. And God rejects his people's worship no matter how lavish. Because they used it as a pious evasion of self-denying demands of helping the weak. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be helping the weak. Amen. Even lifting their hands in prayer avails nothing. For your <coughs> hands, he says, are full of blood. Mm -hmm. But I want to rush to tell you this afternoon that obedience mm -hmm. is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Because all sacrifice does is try to make up for what obedience could have prevented in the first place. Amen. Amen. That's all it does. It, it makes up for what obedience could have prevented. If you're obedient mm -hmm. from the beginning, you ain't got to make no sacrifice. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, there's a human tendency to use religious behavior as a means of manipulating God for our own benefit. Amen? Amen. But God will not let you manipulate him. Amen. God is in control. And God decides the bounds, the parameters of our lives and blessings. And, and, and blessings come to us not because we deserve them. Come on now. But because God chooses to send them. Yes. Amen? Amen. And faith, when it is real, I said, in faith, when it is real, on now, learns yeah, not now. to expect yeah. from God what we want, but to thank God for what he gives. Amen. Amen? Yeah. Because he lets the sun, his sun shine on the just and, and the unjust. Yeah. That's right. God lets the sun shine on evil and the good people. Amen. You are not here this afternoon because you are better and they are worse. Speak on it. But because God is still merciful. Yes. Amen? Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. It never ends. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Amen. Every morning. And the reason why I need his mercy to be new every morning is because I messed up yesterday's mercy. Come on, come on, Amen. You know, uh, uh, is there anybody here who got some stuff you regret in your past that if you could go back, you would undo it? Yeah. Am I wrong? Amen. Amen. Come on, but mercy suits my case. Come on, because man. mercy, yes. surely goodness, he says, and mercy shall follow me, shall yeah. chase me, oh, yeah. even when I'm trying to get away from it. Yes. It will follow me and grab me and Come bring on, me to church Pray. when I don't even feel like coming. In church. Amen. I found myself getting dressed on Sunday morning because when I started to remember, yeah. I started to remember, and listen, brothers and sisters, if you want to really worship, you got to have a good memory. Amen. Yeah. You got to have a good memory. You got to remember when you were down and God picked you up. Come on. Yeah. You got to remember when you were sick. And God made you well. Yeah. You gotta remember when you sin and God washed you Ooh, clean. God. And when you remember, oh boy, when you remember, you shout. You say, Oh Lord, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Give him a hand pray. Amen. Listen. You know, when I was a little boy about five to seven years old. I used to always go with my mother. You know, she'd be going somewhere. I didn't know where she was going. I'd say, Mom, can I go? 
and she was, bless her heart, she's in heaven now. She said, yeah, boy, come on. But you got to be on your best behavior. <laughs> Amen. I said, okay, mom. So I go with her. I'm like five, seven years old. And uh, people would see us out and they would say, oh, he's, he's such a nice little boy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they would give me a, a, a nickel or that. And, and back then, that I'm talking money. about 1950, that was that was money. About money. You know, yes. I mean, you may not, and just to give you an example, shoot, back then, uh, you could buy a pack of cigarettes for a quarter. Okay. You know, oh, right. so he gave me a dime of nickel, you know, that. Man, I was excited because I knew I could go to the store and buy all kind of candy. Okay. But when they would give it to me, my mother would say, what you going to say? Okay. She said, what you going to say? Right. Come on. Amen? Amen. Yeah. What you going to say? And I say, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, so when somebody gives you something, yes. what you going to say? Thank you. God woke you up this morning. What thank you going to say? Thank you. And then God made a way out of no way for you. What you going to say? Thank you. God made your enemy your footstool. What you going to say? Thank you. Thank you. God delivered you. What you going to say? Thank you. Amen. You cannot manipulate God because no. he is transcendent. Amen. He's above manipulation. Yes. He's omniscient. Yes. He knows everything. Amen. He's omnipresent. Amen. He's everywhere at the same time. Amen. He's the only personality in the universe going all over the place, bumping into himself. Amen. He's eternal now. He was, he is, and he will be. Yes. The scripture says, for a thousand years in your sight mm -hmm. are like a day that just gone by. Yes, yes, yes. Or like a watch in the night. Mm. You sweep men away in the sleep mm. of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. Mm. Though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it is dry mm. and withered. Yeah. We are consumed by your anger and terrified of your indignation. Oh, wow. God cannot be manipulated yeah. by any human activity. That's right. Now perhaps, yeah. now, now, now watch this. Now perhaps there's what is known as a double intendre or a double meaning mm -hmm. in the last verse of our text mm -hmm. where it says, your hands are full of blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because their hands are full of blood of sacrifices, but they are also full of the blood of the innocent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen? Here's what Isaiah says. He says, when you come into the assembly, after all of that hypocritical ceremony, if you come into the synagogue, into the temple, into the church, and raise your hands, and you can't walk with God because... You don't act like God. Wow. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You are praising, you know, and, and, and you raise your hands in sacred, and you really don't know the God you are praising. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now. Isaiah says, you can raise your hands, but I will hide my eyes. Mm -hmm. You can offer your thoughts and prayers, and God says, I will not listen mm -hmm. because your hands mm -hmm. are full mm -hmm. of blood. Amen. But because we serve, a gracious and merciful God. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, in verse 18 of that scripture says, Come now, let us reason Do mm -hmm. right. you see how gracious and merciful yes. God is? Wow, he didn't leave it right there. He says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Amen. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wood. God is saying to some sinner here this afternoon, on, you God. don't have to go to hell. At all. Amen? Come Jesus on, died for Come your on, sins, man. rose yes. for your justification. Woo, and since the Lord satisfied God's justice, yes. we can yes. come before his presence with yes. thanksgiving mm -hmm. and enter his courts with praise right. and know ye that the Lord, he is God. Amen. And it is he that has made us. Praise God. And not we ourselves. Brothers and sisters, I'm about to close now. And I'm finna to get ready to shout. Mm, come on now. <laughs> because a little girl at Rob Elementary, a 
little fourth grader at Robb Elementary saw all of her classmates being shot oh, in that classroom. Oh, A teacher was killed and her classmates were shot. And she said the only thing she could think to do was to put some blood on herself okay. so that the man who was shooting Come would on. think that she was dead. Okay. And she lived because she was covered by the blood. Hey, 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 oh hey, my God. God. She was covered by the blood of Jesus yeah. on Friday on the cross. We're covered by the blood. We're alive this afternoon because we're covered by the blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. Amen. No it other the name I know. but the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. Woo, Amen. Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. the point of this sermon was we want you to examine mm -hmm. your own experience. Mm -hmm. Is it just entertainment mm -hmm. as you enjoy music and go along with what others do? Or is it genuine heartfelt praise to God? Because God does not take pleasure in, out, in our outward expression mm -hmm. Come on. if our inward faith is missing. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. And I hope you get something out of the Praise. word of the Lord Amen. today. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen.